Good afternoon, Shrewsbury. Thank you so much for getting out of the tents so early. I didn't think there'd be anyone here. And look at all these people in the mosh pit. It's, they're looking for a very exciting gig, first thing. Um, we'll, we'll do our best. Um, it's, it's splendid to be here. It's a couple of years, a few years now since I've been in Shrewsbury. And as the man says, first solo gig across the side of the pond. And I only did two the other side of the pond. So, um, yeah. Ooh. That's a great start. So anyway, we're going to start with a song that is Child Ballad Number 2. Uh, there's 305 of them, but this is number two. And it's called, uh, the original name is The Elfin Knight. Not to be cute, uh, um, confused with a knight in Elfin, which is a little town in County Roscommon. Uh, two totally different things. So the elf tries to trick uh, the mortal beauty into the other world. So um, the, this is the Irish version of the song and it's called The Tricolored House. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, in the absence of uh, back and vocalists, I'm going to have some frontal vocalists, uh, namely Yi guys. And uh, this is a song that asks a question that maybe some of you already know the answer to. The question is, uh, what will we do when we have no money? The answer is? Steel. Steel. Very good. Well, not very good, but it's, a, it's an option. Anyone else? Sing. Become a folk artist. Very good. Yeah. That's one sure way. All right. Um, well, it's funny, no matter where I ask this question, um, nobody ever says work. Um, so I like your way of thinking. But the answer in this song is actually to uh, yodel. So, um, so we're not too far off, really. Um, it's a, a song. Um, from the travelling community of Ireland. It's called uh, What'll We Do When We Have No Money? We'll Yodel It Over Again. Um, there's a couple of lines of chorus. One of them is, All true lovers, what will we do then? And we'll yodel it over again. So they'll come up several times. And you'll see me doing this. So that's your cue. Here we go.
So I wrote this song just before lockdown there, and uh, I got an article uh, from a, a great man by the name of Thomas McCarthy, and he, um, he, he highlighted uh, the plight of uh, women after the famine uh, who had very few choices, death or workhouse, um, but they chose instead to follow the soldiers to the Curragh in County Kildare, where they lived for years and years, decades in fact, and uh, their, their homes were um, dug out ditches in the, in the side of the, behind the furrows, and they dug them out with their hands, and they were called the Curragh Wrens because of the size of their little nests that were only big enough to hold themselves and perhaps their babies. So, um, the Cora Wrens are called. All right? Okay. I'm a poor gal born near Dublin City. Oh, right. 
want our blood all alone, alone. They stripped and beat us in the hammer, born to be a color. All you who judge us from yourself as all alone and lonely. Hang and shame. So now I'm going to take you to County Roscommon, which is uh, where I am from, in the Midlands. You know, the West has a, uh, the West is the, the, the Wild Atlantic Way. That was a tourist gimmick, you know, to get you all over there. And it worked. It even got me over there. Then the East decided they'd do something about their um, publicity and you know, tourist campaign. So now they're, they're called the Ancient East. So you have the Wild Atlantic Way and the Ancient East. So the Midlands, not wanting to be outdone, um, are called the Hidden Heartlands. So this song would be from the Hidden Heartlands, written by a man by the name of Pather Kearney, who, who wrote uh, a song very important to the Irish, their, their national anthem. And he was, uh, his sister was the mother of Brendan and Dominic Behan. So great lineage. So he wrote this song about a place called Necrockery, which is a, a, um, named after a hill that was used for hanging people on Sunday afternoons. You know, the family would gather together and head off. Um, but uh, that's nothing to do with the song. Um, Necrockery is also famous for clay pipes, um, do jeans, and every house in Ireland would have a, a clay pipe made in this town of Necrockery. Um, nothing to do with the song either. It's just a little bit of background. Uh, the song was written not because uh, Pather Kearney liked Necrockery, but he was dared by his friends, having bragged about uh, being able to write about any particular place on the planet. In fact, his friends stuck a pin in the map of Ireland, and lo and behold, underneath it was Necrockery. So uh, he wrote this song, and we're glad he did, because it brings the total of happy songs in Ireland to three. Here's number three. Take 
the whole night far to tell how it cold with her blind red and hair seed smothered in hair.
So I mentioned we had lots of um, very few happy songs, but lots of uh, unhappy ones. So this one is about, it's probably the saddest one of them all. It's the story of Donal Og, who seduced Donal, uh, young Donal, seduced a young girl, and uh, she was warned against him, but she was like a moth to the flame, like he coming in from the rain. And uh, she got in the family way, and he deserted her in a hour of need, which made her think that he took everything from her, including God, which was a, a fate worse than death. So don't log. Stay. 
In the hidden, hidden heartlands of Ireland is um, uh, the, the sh River Shannon. Uh, not to be confused with Sharon Shannon, who is also a powerful uh, force of nature in Ireland. Um, but the River Shannon uh, rises in, in County Cavan, the Shannon Pot, and goes all the way to Limerick. And uh, this song was written by Shane McGowan, and it's called The Broad Majestic Shannon. If you know it, you do. Great. You should be up here. <laughs> okay. The last time I saw Tears on her cheeks You sang me a song that was pure as the 
Could do some help with. Don't 
Sí. Okay, so there's a, uh, my for summer holidays in County Roscommon were spent going to a place called Clooney Quinn El Finn. I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, there's no pub, I'm afraid. But it is the birthplace of a man called Percy French, who's actually buried in Thornby over here in the UK. And uh, he wrote some great songs, um, like uh, The Mountains of Morn, you probably know, and Are You Right There, Michael, Are You Right? The Darling Girl from Clare, and this one about the beautiful Eileen Og, who was the pride of a place called Petrovor. Every man wanted to marry her, and they all uh, were trying to show off all their wares so that to get her attention. One showed off his, his um, hens and chickens and ducks and things. Another his cows and cattle. Uh, another his arable and pasture. You know, things women dream of, ladies and gentlemen. So much to the author's chagrin, uh, she went off with a cattle dealer from, uh, from uh, up the other side of the county who paid her no attention at all, uh, which was very uh, perturbing. And then the, uh, the, the, the crux of it all is, it seems in the song, that if you want them to run after you, you have to look the other way, uh, ignore them completely. Um, these days it's swipe left, I think, or swipe right, something like that. Uh, here we go. There's a chorus here too, so.
I'd like to introduce you, Donna Hennessy here on the guitar, a Dublin Kerry man, and Martin Brunsden on the bass. Kind of lead term now, we've claimed him. So uh, we've time for one more, so I'll do the title track of uh, an album of the same name. Um, uh, my only solo album uh, called All The Way Home. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'd like to thank Rich and all the entourage here on this side of the sound desk. And everyone down, I didn't meet those guys, so thank you so much. And I'd like to thank uh, Sandra for calling me up one day to see would I come over here and brave the elements of the Shrewsbury Folk Festival um, as a solo artist. So uh, thank you so much for being so kind. It might be the first of many. Um, I really enjoyed it, so thank you. Yeah. I have traveled all across the ocean, a lonely stranger. I'm far and chose far from the old ones who love me dearly. Me. 
much, Shrewsbury.